Previously on Shiny Lock with A-Drive. He's got a Darmanitan, so there you go. Uh, that's scary. Luckily for us... <gasps> what? I understand that I'm gonna lose a life on Drober right now. I'm, I'm fully aware of that, but I do think that's what the best play is. Muddy Water, yeah, he's just gonna knock us out here with Muddy Water, so... Uh, Drober's gonna go down. Kind of a bummer. I, I, I made the play that I need to make. Please live this. Please live this. Please live this. You get a crit. Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I bring you guys episode 32 of the first ever Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Shiny Lock, the final episode. This is it. This is what it all has come down to, 32 episodes of grinding, of shiny hunting, of turmoil, of chaos, of uh, absolute joy. It's been an amazing playthrough, guys, and I want to thank you guys so much for all the support on this playthrough. By far, in, in my opinion, the best series I've done on my channel solo for sure, and I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, you know, we came out with a new idea, come up with a shiny lock. Now, I'm not going to say that the, the rules were perfect. You know, I do think maybe we could we could drop it down to two lives. I don't know. We can, we can play with it, but uh, this has been a lot of fun. First ever time I've, I've, like, made it through, like, a full randomizer and things like that, and, and I'm just really, really... You know, stoked and just proud and, and excited and just really thankful for the A Drive Army for turning up and showing so much love, guys. So this is the final episode. Definitely show your love on that like button down below. See if we get a thousand likes. That'd be really great. We do have a question of the day too before we walk down this little, little long path right here. Uh, who is the best champion of all time? So let's talk about them real quick. You got blue. You got red. You got Drake. You've got uh, you know Steven Stone and then Wallace technically an Emerald, right? You've got Cynthia, which I think might be a fan favorite here. I'm not sure. You got Alder from, uh, you know, Unova, and Iris, of course, from, uh, you know, the other game. And then uh, the Kalos, which was uh, Dion Diantha. Is that her name? Diantha. I think that's her name. I think it's Diantha. Yeah, it is Diantha. So uh, those are your those are your champions. So let me know in the comment section below who the best champion of all time was and why. That's a tough question, man. I don't know. I I really don't know. I mean, I gotta say I like Alder's style. I thought he was very different. I liked his Volcarona. You know, um, Lance, the original Dragon Trainer with his, like, you know, seven Dragonites or whatever his team was. You know, it was, like, three Dragonites or two Dragonites or whatever. Uh, that was kind of cool. But I have, like, faint memories. I think it was Blue who had, uh, you know, an Executor and, like, an Arcanine and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that was his team. I got to give it to Blue. That's my favorite. But I don't know. You guys let me know who was the best champion of all time. I'm going to run towards this white light here. I can't help it. I just can't help it. Uh, my destiny awaits. So let's do it. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe we have made it all the way here, guys. I cannot believe we have made it all the way to the champion of the Elite Four. And it's Mr. Steven Stone, of course. Spoilers. And who knows what his team is going to be, but he's got a Metagross that's going to get randomized into something else. So, I don't know. And we are definitely underleveled. So, I have no idea. If it, if it ends here, it ends here. Just to clarify, too, I want to bring up one point. If I do white out, the playthrough is not over if I white out. The playthrough is not over if I white out. If we still have lives on our Pokemon... That we are going to continue. Now, I understand that sometimes Let's Plays end if you wait out. But if I wait out and I still have lives left, then I'm going to rock with it. I'm just letting you guys know now. I'm throwing it out there now. This isn't a rule change later. That's been my plan the whole time. If I were to wait out and lose all my Pokemon right now, I could I could come back. Obviously, Spyro wouldn't be on the team. I'd grab Pinocchio or, you know, uh, Ernie, one of the two. But it would work. So, you know, obviously I have revives that I'm going to try to take advantage of. But anyway, here we are. Steven Stone, the champion. Let's do it. You guys ready? Got your popcorn? Got your hot chocolate? You ready to go? Welcome, A-Drive. Whew. Man, I was hoping I would get to see you make it here one day. Tell me, what have you seen on your journey with your Pokemon? What have you felt meeting so many other trainers out there? Traveling this rich land of Hoenn, filled with water, has it awoken you? Has it awoken something inside you? I want you to come at me with all that you've learned. My Pokemon and I will respond in turn with what all we know. So here it is. Let it begin. His first Pokemon would normally be a Skarmory, but it's going to get randomized. And I don't know what it's going to be randomized into, but we saw that last trainer, dude. He had a Gudra. He had an Espeon. He was he was packing some, some pretty intense stuff. Six Pokemon. Tanacruel is the first one. Uh, okay, so my original plan was to set up Stealth Rocks with Nugget because I felt like that could give me a good advantage moving into this matchup here. 
but not against a Tentacruel. I have to a million percent switch out here. Um, but what do I switch into? Polaris is really the obvious switch here. It's really the only switch. He's level 57. Am I about to just get straight up bodied right now? He's level 57. We'll see what this Tentacruel does to me. Hopefully he's just got some water moves. Hydro Pump, miss. Nope, he's gonna hit it. I do resist this. I'm gonna eat that up, no problems, no problems. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Psychic. I only have four left, but we're gonna go for the Psychic. He's gonna go for Sludge Wave. Don't knock me out. Okay, oh, the poison, dude, come on. Don't be that guy. I'm gonna go for the Psychic. Good amount of damage, good amount of damage. He's got the poison ass. I have to switch out now, unfortunately. And I think my switch is actually, might be kind of surprising, but I think I'm gonna go to Spyro. I'm thinking that Mega Spyro can outspeed Tentacruel and kill it. Um, I mean, I could go into Drillbert, but I don't think Drillbert's gonna be taking a Hydro Pump too well. And I think Spyro can live and then kill this thing on the next turn with a fly. I don't think he's gonna go for Hydro Pump. I don't think this thing is smart enough. I don't think it's gonna be smart enough to go for Hydro Pump. This is Spyro's last life. Sludge Wave, I should be able to live this. Yeah, I'm gonna eat that up, we resist it, it's not even a problem. Now he's seven levels above us, but I believe I can outspeed him, I really do. I really do, what's our speed stat? What is our speed stat? I'm gonna look, what's Polaris' speed stat? 125. What is Spyro's speed stat? 140 something. What at level 57 is Tentacruel's speed stat? It's probably higher than mine. I'm gonna have to switch out. He's gonna go for Hydro Pump. He's gonna kill us. I gotta go to Frostbite. Something's gonna die. I, I don't even think I could, like, get around this without something dying. Maybe I just sacrifice Polaris. Like, if Spyro dies, then Spyro's gone. Like, Spyro's just gone. I don't think I can outspeed this thing. Not a level 57. <sighs> Spyro. Don't let me down, buddy. Don't let me down. Don't let me down, Spyro. Don't let me down. You got this, buddy. You got this, Spyro. You will outspeed this Tentacruel. I know you will. I know you will. I know you're going to outspeed it. I know you're gonna outspeed it. I know you're gonna outspeed it. Oh my god, no! Spyro, no! Oh no! Dude, no, no, no! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um. Oh boy. I have Psychic on this thing. Oh, man. Spyro's just straight up gone now. Spyro's just straight up gone now. All right. I'm going to go for Psychic here. Hydro Pump. Why do you hit every Hydro Pump? Why? Why are you hitting every single one of them? I don't think the Psychic's going to kill, though. Tentacruel's really bulky. That doesn't even, doesn't even come close. All right. I'm going to go for a... Uh, I'm going to go for a Hyper Potion here. Um, on Frostlass. And I think he might heal up too. Yeah, he's gonna four store. So I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to heal up Polaris next as well. Because I need Polaris to beat this thing. Polaris is gonna be the one to beat the Tentacruel. I don't think Frostbite can. All right, I'm gonna go for another Hyper Potion and it's gonna be on Polaris. Heal that thing back up to full. And I'm hoping he misses the Hydro Pump. There it is, perfect, he missed. Good, 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 good. Polaris, you're going in. Let's do this. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Oh my goodness. I can't even beat this Tentacruel, man. It's level 57. Like, why? Hydro Pump. He hits it, of course. Of course he hits it. Okay, so we know from previous experiences here that I can definitely live a Sludge Wave. We know I can. No poison this time. I get to fire off a nice Psychic here. And that's going to do a lot. Not enough, though. Um, okay, uh, let's see here. I can go in a frostbite. It's like something just dies. Like something's gonna die. That's the problem. I can go in a drillbert. 
And then... Oh, my God. He's going to run out of Hydro Pumps eventually, right? Like... I'm going into Drobert to predict the Sludge Wave. Um... And if he doesn't go for Sludge Wave, then we, like, lose automatically. How many Hydro Pumps does he get? Like, how many can he have, right? Sludge Wave. Okay, so at least I got that right. So now, the Hydro Pump is coming again. And I'm gonna go into... Polaris, I think. Can Polaris take a Hydro Pump? 42? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. So I know I'm just doing a lot of switching here, but I, I can't imagine he's gonna have that many Hydro Pumps. Like, how many can he have? You know? I didn't count. He might be out of them already. Hex! He's got a Hex too! Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, at least he's out of Hydro Pumps. At least he's out of Hydro Pumps. He's out of Hydro Pumps. So, I'm gonna go into Drillbert now. Um, and I'm going to revive Polaris on its last life now. And hope this thing doesn't have uh, Hydro Pump anymore. I'm assuming he's out of them at this point. Uh, I'm gonna revive Polaris uh, back to half. Um, it's on its last life. He's got Hex. That's his only his only move to hit us now. I don't think that's gonna really do too much to us. No, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna Swords Dance. I'm gonna Swords Dance. I'm gonna use this Tentacruel as setup fodder right now because this is the only chance I have. It's very very it's getting very very clear that the only chance I have of beating this Steven here is to do this. Um, I am going to. I don't think it's gonna make much sense for me to heal it, like, for me to go plus four or whatever. I mean, it might, but I'm gonna heal Polaris back to full. I'm gonna take another hex here. I'm gonna heal myself back to full after this hex, and then I'm gonna fire off the earthquake, I think. If only I had, like, an X speed. Do I have an X speed in my bag? X defense. Not gonna really help me. Um, I think I gotta heal up, and then. I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for another Swords Dance. He's gonna Hex. I'm gonna Swords Dance, I'm gonna heal up, and then I'm gonna attack. No crits. Okay, we're good. So we're plus four attack now. Maybe Drillbert can come back and just sweep. I don't know. I don't know. The problem is, is I'm not that fast. Um, I didn't I didn't anticipate this to be this, this challenging. All of a sudden, his Pokemon are level 57, and mine are not anywhere near that, and... We lost two Pokemon to his first Pokemon, like... And the only reason why I'm not losing more right now is because he ran out of Hydro Pumps. Okay, uh, I know I'm gonna be fine now. I can definitely Earthquake and knock this thing out. I need this Randomizer to be very kind to me right now or we are in a lot of trouble. All right, Tentacruel goes down. Tentacruel goes down. I'm plus four. If he doesn't have something that can kill me in one hit, I'm gonna kill something else here and it's gonna be really good. Absol. Do I think Absol can kill me in one hit? Do I have a better switch into Absol? I don't. I, I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna go for the Earthquake and hope he can't kill me in one hit. He's got Sucker Punch. This is probably gonna kill me. It's a crit. It's a crit! It doesn't even give me a chance. He just crits me. Alright. I'm gonna get a Mohawk. That was Drillbert's. He's only got one life now. All right, I know close combat will kill. I don't know how much he's gonna do to me when he attacks me right now, but I'm gonna go for the close combat. He doesn't even, I'm actually faster, which is awesome. So he goes down. It ain't so you what? Are you kidding me? Future Sight. Oh my goodness, guys. If he sucker punches, he kills me now. I just have to hope he doesn't sucker punch. He doesn't, we're gonna kill him. Okay. At least the absol has gone. Mohawk gets some Porygon 2. Okay. Alright. So I a million percent need to switch out here. Um the problem is I don't know what moves Porygon 2 gets. He's level 59. This is his replacement to Metagross, I think. A level 59. So the problem here is I know there's a future site coming, and the only thing I could take it is Polaris. But Polaris. Polaris is on its last life. So I need to switch out Mohawk a million percent. I think I go to Frostbite here. Nah, it's gonna—it's not gonna take the future. Sight. I gotta go to Polaris. It's the only thing I can take a future sight, and then, um, so Spyro's gone. Polaris has one life left because I revived it. Drobert has one life left. He's got Discharge, and that's it for Polaris. 
Maybe. Maybe. Oh my god, he's not dead. He is not dead. He is not dead. Okay. Nugget. Nugget. It's your time, buddy. It is your time, Nugget. You got three lives. This is it, man. This is it, Nugget. This is what you, you're dreamed of here. Go for discharge again, Porygon. Let's go. I'm setting up stealth rocks. I'm setting up stealth rocks. It's gonna lock on. That's fine. I don't care about that. I think I need to revive Drillbert like ASAP too. He might not be able to really hit me that well. And I need to revive Drillbert. Drillbert has one life left, I believe. I need to go for a revive on Drillbert right now. Get him back. Get him back up to half, and then I can heal him up. He's got tri attack. How much is it gonna do to me? Not that much. Not that much. Okay. All right. I hate to potion spam, but I got to. It's my only chance here. So I'm going to heal Drillbert first, then I'm going to heal Polaris next. And I think I can take two of these, and then I can heal heal up myself. He went for Magikarp. He has nothing to touch me. Thankfully, that we have a little bit of a, a, a breather here. Of course he had Discharge. Lock on. That's fine. Okay. Um, I think I can just uh, hit him with an Earthquake. Or whatever, or Rock Blast, whatever I want. I'm gonna go for Rock Blast first. He's gonna try attack me, that's fine. I do have to heal after this, though. Because I can't take another one. That did nothing. That was a terrible decision on my part. Okay, let's heal up. Um, I'm debating on whether I should explode with Nugget. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it gets rid of the Porygon, at least. It gets rid of one problem. Nah, there's no reason to explode. I could just Earthquake. There's really no reason to explode. I'm just hoping he doesn't get... He's still got four Pokemon left. <sighs> Alright, let's Earthquake. Uh, he's got a Magic Coat. Which is fine. Uh, it only bounces back moves like Stealth Rock. So I already went for Stealth Rock. So we're good. Um, that's a little bit better damage. I think another EQ might knock him out. I'm, I'm again just worried about this Tri-Attack potentially like burning me or something like that. But... I think this earthquake will knock out the duck. This thing's got Eevee Light, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, did I heal up Starmie? I did. Okay, so Polaris is healed. The whole team is like healed up. We're ready to rock and roll, man. I'm gonna go for Rock Blast. He's gonna full restore. Steven Stone, what are you doing? So here's the problem. I only have two more earthquakes. Um, I'm gonna have to use an Ether or something like that. Help myself out a little bit, because we might need these earthquakes. Or I could just explode. That's the other idea. I mean, I could always revive them back up later. I'm gonna go for Earthquake. This Porygon Z is, or Porygon 2 is really not attacking me. So like, I feel like I'm in an okay spot to just keep clicking Earthquake, you know? He's, he can't hit me with Discharge, and that's gonna knock him out. I'm gonna go for the, I'm gonna save one Earthquake and go for the Rock Blast. It's gonna Magic Coat. Yeah, he doesn't wanna try attack me, whatever reason. So his, the program, I missed. The programming is telling him not to, to try attack for whatever reason. So I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna keep clicking uh, Rock Blast here. Cause we're, uh, we're definitely struggling here. Spyro's gone. Polaris, Jobert, all on one life. I mean, I don't even know. Try attack. Okay, so as long as there's, there's nothing crazy that happens here, we should be in good shape. Sweet. Okay, Porygon 2 goes down. Level 59. I think that was the Metagross. That would have been what would have the, like the Metagross swap. So I'm hoping that makes things a little bit better for us moving forward here. Negros level 50, wants to learn double edge. Yeah, let's teach him double edge. There's really no reason for him to know stealth rocks, right? I mean, at this point, really no reason for him to know stealth rocks. Although, am I really going to use double edge? I'll teach it to him. Double edge might be better than rock blast. I'll get rid of stealth rocks. There's no reason to have it. I already set him up, so they're already on the field. Um, he is going to send out a Gengar. million percent can't stay in on this. Um... Okay, I need a switch, and my switch is into Mohawk here. Uh, because the ghost type move. If he goes for a poison type move, that's fine. It is what it is, man. But uh, I'm gonna go into Mohawk here. Go for a ghost type move. Hex, perfect. I'm clicking Brave Bird, man. I'm clicking Brave Bird. He's gonna Dark Pulse. I think I can live the Dark Pulse, and I think I can live the Brave Bird recoil too. I don't know if this is gonna kill though, but I think I can live the two. I have like a zero switches for this thing. Okay, so either Mohawk loses a life or I risk Drobert here basically, which doesn't seem like a good idea. Drobert does definitely not want to take a dark type move here. But the problem is, <sighs> the 
The problem is I'm gonna take the hit either way. All right, I'm gonna go for the um, I'm gonna go for the hyper potion and heal up Mohawk, and then kind of see what he's gonna do because he can't hex me. He can only dark pulse, which is isn't gonna do that. I mean, it's like two a KO. Maybe if it's not two a KO, then we're we're gonna be fine. Yeah, so it's not two a KO. So here's the thing: I can I can like Brave Bird here and knock him out. I'm gonna lose a life on Mohawk to do it, but I gotta knock this thing out. He went for Destiny Bot. He's gonna pull us with him. Oh my God! Every any other turn, man. Any other turn, and now Mohawk's gonna lose another life. It. I guess I guess if he dark pulsed and I I took the recoil, it would have been the same kind of deal. But Mohawk goes down. <laughs> Oh my goodness. At least I get a free switch into something. I don't get to know what his is going to be, though. Um, I think Drillbird is the Pokemon or Frostbite. Frostbite has the an extra life than the other two. Um, but Drillbird's more of a present. I'm going to go with Frostbite just because it's got the extra life. It's got Unpheasant. That's fine. I might actually be fine here, then. Um, I don't want to waste turns on reviving Mohawk just yet. Those Stealth Rocks, though. Those Stealth Rocks coming through. I'm going to go for the Frost Breath. He's gonna switch. He has nothing to hit me. He has nothing to hit me. His last Pokemon was Pitch Me Out. Oh my goodness. Bird Jesus, are we gonna make this happen right now? Those Stealth Rocks, though. Those Stealth Rocks, though. Live this hit, baby. I'm gonna get tight. You're living this, Frostbite. You are living this hit. Mmm. Let's go. Hit him with it. Pidgeot goes down. You got this, Frostbite. You got this. All you gotta do is beat this on Pheasant, which can't even touch you. Gonna take Stealth Rocks damage. We got this, baby. We got this, baby. Swagger. Oh boy, we don't got this. <laughs> we don't got this. <laughs> Come on, Frostbite. Come on, Frostbite. Come on, Frostbite. Are you serious? You had a chance to take it home, Frostbite. What did you do? You hit yourself in confusion. Now I gotta go to Drillbert. And if Drillbert dies because of that Frostbite, I'm releasing you. That's what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna release you. Cause that was that was pitiful. Feather dance. Oh my god, this on pheasant is not letting us go down easy. Mm, rock tomb. Swagger. That's all he can do to us. He can just swagger us. That's it. Hit him with it. Hit him with it, buddy. Hit him with it, Drillbert. This could be it. Oh my god, you are the most annoying Pokemon I've ever seen in my life, on pheasant. Weakness policy. What? Oh my god. We did it. I think that was his last Pokemon. Oh my god. That was so hard. <laughs> that was so hard. Oh my goodness, we beat the champion Steven! We did it! The shiny lock has made it and we needed every life we had. Oh my goodness, just as I have come to expect, A-Drive, you are truly an excellent Pokemon trainer. Congratulations to you. Oh my goodness. Wow. We did it, guys. We did it. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, we are the new champion of Hoenn, guys. And we did it with a squad. We lost a shiny. We lost Spyro to Tentacruel's Hydro Pump because that thing had his glasses on. But we made it work, man. We had just enough lives left in us despite being underleveled. And we make it through the playthrough. Wow. I, I honestly, guys, like there was a point in time facing that Tentacruel where I was thinking that there was there was no chance we we're going to beat this. And I was going to have to film a whole nother week episode of going through the Elite Four a second time with a beat up team. And I'm so glad I don't have to do that, because that would have been brutal. Um, wow. That came down to the wire. That was close, man. That was close. We got super duper lucky. We got super duper lucky. We're going to take a look at our team here, and we're going to look over our team. We're going to have some, some reminiscing here. We're going to talk a little bit about the playthrough, kind of just chill back here, and, and kind of enjoy the ending of the first ever randomizer shiny lock man this was this was intense man this was intense the homie nugget our seventh shiny in the playthrough caught a graveler fishing we got our homie drill bird here uh caught him as a uh, a little baby drill spyro unfortunately didn't make it to the play through the whole playthrough he fainted 
Mohawk, seriously one of my favorite Pokemon that we've had a chance to use in this playthrough. I had to add him to the final team. Frostbite coming through. Polaris, absolute legendary at the end. Um, you guys can let me know in the comment section below who was the MVP um, of this whole playthrough. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to say Ernie. Even though Ernie's not in this little champion circle, Ernie and Pinocchio are not to be forgotten. They're both uh, hanging in with one life in the box. And uh, they were a part of this playthrough for the first, you know, 28 episodes or whatever, but pretty much like 20 something episodes. I just wanted to give some other love to some of the other guys, but very, very epic. Very, very epic. I love this. This is so cool. It's it, it's really cool. I mean, how many people do you think have like played through a full game like this, randomized? I think we're the first ones, right? We're the first, probably the first people to randomize a game, do a shiny only playthrough. I could be wrong, but either way, I'm gonna I'm gonna just I'm just gonna say it, whatever. I don't care. But uh, pretty epic, man. Some really really cool shinies, and uh, very very fitting to be uh, enjoying it here in the champion circle in uh, in the Hoenn region, man. That was. That was an intense playthrough, guys. I gotta say, this is definitely the most fun playthrough I've ever done solo. I feel like I've raised the bar for not only myself, but for the channel in terms of the content I produce for solo Let's Plays. And uh, I'm really excited to do the next one, man. There's uh, there's definitely more shiny locks in the future. Uh, you know, there there's and this is the greatest this is the greatest opportunity for you guys to give me your feedback too in terms of ways to improve the shiny lock. I know I asked that a few episodes ago, but feel free to let me know in the comment section below ways to improve the shiny lock. You know, ways to make this playthrough better in the future. I think we can kind of agree that maybe two lives is probably better to make things a little bit more intense. Maybe add some more shinies in the mix. Again, you have to understand that as a content maker, though, there's always the time constraints. And some of these shinies they took as many as like um, I think the longest shiny was the Polaris. Either Polaris or Polaris is over a thousand horde encounters, um, and I believe Frostbite, both Frostbite and one other Pokemon, maybe Drobert. There was two two guys who are both like over 900 Dex Nav, which is approximately that's like 10, 12 hours of me shiny hunting. So that's on top of already recording all the episodes and everything else. So definitely, definitely um, a pretty pretty long journey there. So I think that's. Uh, that's it, guys. I think that's it. I know, I know. There's a matchup against May coming up. Um, you know, I think, like, there's this whole like, you know, thing going on here. I never know whether I'm supposed to take this out or leave it in. Um, I guess we could just kind of enjoy it. You know, the 3D art director, Mana eBay. You know, shout out to that. There's May. I wish I could skip this honestly and just face May. But uh, you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna cut the video right here, and I will pick back up when we get to May. Because I know we have to face May. And then that is where we'll wrap things up. I think that's fair, right? I think that's good. So let me cut. And then I'll see you guys uh, when we face May. All right, guys. So here we are back again. The final part of the shiny lock. I just got to watch through this whole like memorabilia thing. I know I cut it out. But it was pretty cool to look back at all the uh, the Pokemon. It just took like you know 10 minutes. So it's just like kind of a long time. But there's the pond at the intro sequence. I don't actually know what the symbolis symbolism of this is. But... May wants us to battle. She wants to battle. And I believe our lead is actually Spyro. No, our lead is Nugget, isn't it? Yeah, our lead is Nugget. So I am going to do this battle without Spyro. Um, I don't plan on using Spyro on this match because it is fainted. The rest of the team is only one life left. So we'll see what uh, May is working with here for her final battle. I consider this playthrough to be completed at this point. But I will take on May here at the end because I can't really save the game anyway and it would have been weird to not take on May because then people would be like oh you didn't take on May so I figured I'd just take on May so we'll see how it goes but I, I do consider the playthrough to be over at this point so Pokemon Trainer May she's gonna leave with a fur right here super duper intimidating um, I, I have a feeling that the homie Nugget should just be able to set up Stealth Rocks and then click Earthquake a few times and, and this thing is gonna just go down I can't really imagine for it's only level 48 so her team is like pretty weak too I don't have stealth rocks anymore I'm gonna go for earthquake then and um, it's gonna go for amnesia that's fine with me I forgot I got rid of stealth rocks for double edge um, I guess I'm not setting up stealth rocks uh, we're gonna go for the earthquake it's probably two KO oh baby that did so much all right I'm gonna go for double edge now uh, baton pass oh I predicted that if you go into a levitate user I'm just gonna laugh or a flying type I'm gonna laugh so hard when I hit it with it Kingdra earthquake would have been better against Kingdra but anyway Oh, this is an amnesia boosted Kingdra. Yo, May pulling out all the strats right now. Is that leftovers? I don't know about that strategy, May. That's probably not going to work out too well for you. I'm just letting you know. You had an eject button Kingdra. And you baton passed into it. I'm not I'm not quite sure what your plan was there. Oh my god, Fur, it's going to go for rest. Well, 
there goes that strategy on my part. Um, alrighty then. Watch this have, have a chesto barrier or something. I'll just laugh. All right, double edge plus earthquake definitely knocks this thing out. And we don't take recoil damage. I'm just gonna double edge again. All right, Fur goes down. I know she's got a Kingdra too. Eject button Kingdra. That's funny. That's funny. The randomizer working at its finest right there. Here comes the Kingdra. Obviously weaken a little bit, but uh, I think our play here is just to simply go into. I'm gonna say Polaris. Obviously resist the uh, the water type move. If it goes for a dragon type, move, it's fine. Water type move is definitely the obvious play here, though. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that's what it's gonna do. Brian, yeah, that's fine. Um, I believe Psychic could potentially knock it out. It's level 48, so this could probably do a good amount of damage to this thing. Yeah, it does. We get a crit. Twisted Spoon coming in handy there. Um, all right, what else you got, mate? You got a Binet. So normally Binet would be uh, kind of threatening. I'm just gonna click Surf here. I really don't think Binet's gonna kill us in one hit. I'll go for the Surf. I probably should have actually went for Psychic. It does more, but that's okay. You went for Shadow Ball. I don't think this is gonna kill us. I really don't. It doesn't. Uh, I'm gonna click Surf again, and that should knock it out. He doesn't have Sucker Punch or anything, so that's fine. So Binet goes down. And what else you got? I had. A f I knew we'd be able to live that. Boldor. Does Boldor get sturdy? I think he does. I think he does get sturdy. Um, let's see here. Do I want to switch out? The thing is, uh, like, I don't want to switch out, but at the same time, I also don't want to take, like, ha like surf him, knock him down to sturdy, then have him knock Polaris out, and then have Polaris faint, and then Polaris is gone from the playthrough. And then I, like, ended up losing another Pokemon for no reason. So let's go to Drillbird here. He's going to Stone Edge, no problem. That would have definitely killed us, though. I believe a couple Earthquakes will easily knock this thing out. Maybe only one if he's not sturdy. We'll see. He's sturdy. Called it. <laughs> Stealth rocks. This man taking all my strategies, dude. Look at this little guy. Well, Earthquake's gonna knock you out anyway, buddy. So I don't know what your plan was, but it wasn't a good plan. Whatever it was, Boulder. It wasn't a good one. All right, what else you got? Aqualava. May your team is incredibly disappointing. I hate to say it, but it really is. I, I outspeed the Aqualava. That's goodbye. See you later, buddy. Don't even get to show your flames off. Tisk tisk. And that's it. That was it. That was all she had. So that was relatively easy. Okay. Well, that's that, guys. That is where we actually end the playthrough. Now it's officially over. The first ever Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Shiny Lock, guys, is going to be done here. We wrap it up. Genuinely, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support on this playthrough. You guys hit the like goal on every single episode up until the point when I started recording these, you know, episodes or whatever. So I know you guys killed it. You guys showed up. You supported. I really do appreciate it. I'm sure you got sick and tired of me saying hit that like button and answer the question. I'm sure you got sick of it. But just understand, I'm very thankful for all the support, guys. The A Drive Army, best supporters in the entire world. Like, no one beats you guys. There really isn't. And I'm so proud to have you guys as part of my family. And I really thank you guys for the support on this playthrough. And uh, it's been a blast, man. We had a, we had a lot of fun. Let me know what your favorite moment was from this playthrough, of course. Let me know if you have any suggestions on how to make this a better playthrough in the future if I decide to do another shiny lock, which I'm pretty sure we will in the future. Maybe sooner than later. I don't know. You guys will see, right? I don't know. You'll see. I can't tell you any information, though. But uh, don't be sad that this is over. There is plenty more to come in terms of new content, new Let's Plays, all sorts of cool stuff. So definitely be excited for that. I'm hyped that we made it through, man. I had a little bit of a track record for failing some Let's Plays, so I'm excited that we actually made it through an entire Let's Play. And I hope you guys enjoyed. This is where I say goodbye. It's crazy, man. I spent the last, like, two months of my life playing this game, doing this Let's Play, and, and it's done. It's nuts. But thank you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, enjoying this series, and hopefully it gave you something to watch while you're doing whatever you were doing. The end. It's on the screen. That's it for me, guys. My name is Dan. I'll go by A-Drive, and I'm going to catch you guys next time. Peace.